Hello, good evening. My name is Bimbo and welcome to our channel once again. If you are just seeing this channel for the first time, Jackma with your days is a channel where you can get relevant and important information to Portugal where we reside, to Austria and other beautiful European countries where we believe that uh, you are going to have a beautiful and cheap relocation experience that will not cost you or make you to break the bank. Yes, that is what that, those are some of the uh, uh, informations and opportunities that we provide to our subscribers on this channel. Okay, now today I want to talk about cheap universities in Czech Republic. Yes, if you if you don't know, Czech Republic is an EU country. They joined the European Union in May 2004. So which means the residence card that is issued to you as a student in Czech Republic give you access to all other European countries, all other Schengen countries in EU. Okay, so it is an EU country for those of you that do not know. Now, the beauty of the university that I want to be sharing with you today is that they have tuition as you can pay tuition for as low as 20 euro. Yes, 20 euro. So I mean when I saw it myself that there is a university, there is a university in Czech Republic that allow everybody, regardless of whether you are from the EU or you are from the international uh, market uh, applicants or any student at all, be it uh, BSc, MSc, and PhD, all the tuition fee that everybody pay for the courses that they offer is 20 euro for everybody so which means your proof of funds should be max 2 million for nigerians in your account i don't know i mean regardless of the depending mean depending on which country you are watching this from so for nigerians where i'm from 2 million in your account you are good to go but for the other universities anyway the tuition are as low as such that with 2 to 5 million in your account you can comfortably relocate to czech republic on their tuition fee so it now also depends on the faculties that you are applying for oh, sorry the, 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 that you are applying that you are taking your um admission in so if you are i mean the the, the admission deadline again cut across or is different from uh faculty for instance faculty of social science admission deadline is different from faculty of uh, science so the admission deadline is different depending on the faculty that you are applying to so, which means some of the tuition fees is also different depending on the faculty that you're applying to. And mind you, this particular university that I saw that I'll be showing to you shortly is, I mean, the courses that they do there because it's, it's a science uh, university. It's, it's mostly science courses that they treat there like uh, physiology. Um, um, I mean, uh, I mean, science courses, that is what they treat. I'll be showing you shortly. Now, the embassy of Czech Republic, for those of you that do not know, is in Abuja. So, and they operate what is called super legalization before you apply for admission. How does far? Let me explain what super legalization means. Now, super legalization is such that you take your document to Ministry of Education, Ministry of Foreign Affairs, for them to stamp and verify that this document is legit. Now, once they've been able to um, um, uh, prove that this document is legit, take it to their embassy on Tuesday and on Thursday. Sorry, on Tuesday or on Thursday without appointment. If you are going for legalization or super legalization of your document, you don't need appointment. Only if you are going for appoint uh, for visa application, that is when you need appointment. Take note of that. Now, for super legalization, once Ministry of Education and Ministry of Foreign Affairs are done with your document, either Tuesday or Thursday, when you drop your document, on their embassy you can come back the following day to pick up your document for compared to what uh portugal embassy uh austrian embassy and other i mean european uh, uh embassy does to be able to uh verify your document to state that i mean before they can invite you to come for visa application it's a lengthy procedure that you go through to be able to i mean submit your visa application but here they trust that when Ministry of Education and Ministry of Foreign Affairs stamp your document stating that it is legit, they trust their word. So all you have to do is to take your document to their embassy either on Tuesday or on Thursday. 
for super legalization then the following day say friday i from what i heard you can always pick all your documents on friday so when you pick your document on friday you can use it to apply for any admission or use it to apply for visa if of course if you've been able to uh, get admission but some of the school or most of the school that we're talking about today require that you um, uh, legalize your document before you use it to apply for admission and let me also mention that some of these school some of them require that you submit your application online for them to verify. Some of them require that you submit all the required documents that is stated on the application procedure to their email for them to verify it before um, asking you to either pay an enrollment fee or offering you admission or asking you to pay application fee, which also means that some of them do not require that you pay application fee. So yeah, some of them, uh, I mean, they are, they, when you, you can submit application to them without paying application fee, but some of them require that you pay application fee before they review your document. Also, some of them do not require that you pay tuition fee from your country before you move to their uh, country. You see that it is, it is a very, very interesting opportunity that I'm bringing your way today. Yes, yeah, some of them do not require that you pay tuition fee from your country. Now, Today, I'll be showing you there's something called student mode opportunity. Now, which means you need to apply to schools that operate on the student mode opportunity for international applicant. What does this mean? These schools require that, I mean, schools that operate on student mode, it means that when they offer you admission, they will be the one to recommend your applications to the uh, to, to the country where you are applying for, to their embassy in the country where you are applying for, for them to schedule you for immediate uh, uh, visa application. So it now depends on the mode of program that you are applying for, meaning if you are applying for PhD, your application, your visa application will be prioritized to somebody that is applying for master's. If you are applying for master's compared to a, a, a bachelor program, your visa application will be uh, prioritize over somebody applying for BSc program. So depending on the mode of the program that you're applying for, that is what will determine how they prioritize the visa application that they will issue to you for you to come and submit your application. You see that is very, it's very, very interesting. I mean, it, it, when I saw it and I was reading through some of the uh, uh, application procedure and the way they deal with the I mean, I said, this is quite interesting. I need to bring this to my subscribers. It's a very huge opportunity that you can travel to, as a student, you can travel to EU with tuition as low as 20 euro. Yes, it's a very, very great opportunity and I'm sure that a whole lot of applic uh, uh, I mean, international applicants are going to lash into this opportunity, which, and I'm also going to say this, that they also have numerous courses taught in English. I'll be going through some of the application procedure for you to see, I mean, the numbers of courses that are taught in English, mass I mean, in English for Masters, for PhD, for BSc. Yes, in EU. And they have... Uh, they, 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 they recognize Nigeria, I mean, most of the universities, in fact, about 99% of the university, they recognize Nigeria and some other African countries as an English-speaking country, which means with your WAEC, if you are going for BSc, if you have, uh, I mean, up to six 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 in your English, in your WAEC, you are good to go to apply for BSc there. If you, if you have a letter from your institution stating that you were taught in English for those going for Master's or PhD, you are good to go, you get a waiver. Are you with me? So, I mean, it, they have quite enormous opportunities. The universities there have quite enormous opportunities in, in Czech Republic. So, like I said, their embassy is in Abuja. Now, that is for the student mode. So, the student mode, their international student office in your university, once you are offered admission, are the one that will recommend your applications to your school. I'm sorry, to their, to their embassy in your country. For you, for them to schedule you for immediate visa application. Okay, so it is, it is a very, it is a very good one. Okay, now they all they only attend to um, um legal for legalizations of of uh, documents on Tuesday and on Thursday, like I said, without appointment, without a booking appointment for today or for now. Probably because a whole lot of people have not started 
trooping into that country like uh, Portugal. I mean, when I came into Portugal, we are not using uh, appointment, but now you need appointment for you to come to Portugal. So they themselves, they don't need, um, I mean, they are not using appointment to submit your document for legalization or super legalization. But hopefully, maybe when Africans started trooping into that place and they started seeing crowd, maybe, you know, maybe they themselves, they will change their um, uh, visa application or spy legalization procedure to you having to come with appointment. So which means this is a very good opportunity for you to tap into this uh, EU country for you to jump to Czech Republic by September or October when their fall academic calendar will resume. Okay, now. When you submit your admission, within two to three weeks, you get, uh, sorry, when you submit your application, within two to three weeks, you get applications or you get uh, feedback regarding your application, whether you are offered admission or not, you get um, your, uh, uh, you get your admissions um, result, okay? And most of the schools, like I said earlier, the application procedure is going to end by 31st of, um, of March. Yes, the application deadline is going to end by 31st of March, okay? Now, and then they have scholarship opportunity and accommodation support. The minute you, especially for masters and PhD, they have scholarship opportunity and accommodation support. So, in fact, the accommodation support, from what I heard, the minute you are offered accommodation support, the money they will be paying you for the stipend for the accommodation support is even equivalent to you paying for the uh, instrumental fees that you have um, bargained with the institution so you can also pay your tuition fee instrumentally you can bargain with the school to be paying uh, uh, 10 uh, instrumentally 10 uh, I mean 15 is uh, 15 instrumental payment 20 instrumental payment you can bargain with the school so they have different criteria for some of these things so today and like I said the proof of funds with 2 million or 5 million max 10 million depending on the tuition fee or the courses that you are applying for that's what will determine your tuition fee so i'll be showing to you the application procedure for some of this school the tuition fee the proof of funds with your proof of funds now you need to i mean you need to maintain the account for like two to three months but you need to submit up to about six months of operations of the account in uh, inflow and outflow of the account that is and of course if you if you have a sponsor you can also get a sponsor Take the letter of the sponsor to uh, any court close to you for them to stamp it and, you know, you can use it to submit for visa application. So I'll be showing to you some of these opportunities. Come with me as I show you a school that you can pay as low as 20 euro tuition fee in Czech Republic. So I'll be talking about three schools from among the list of schools that uh, offer, that allow the student mode opportunity. And in fact, let me quickly show you the public institutions that operate the student mode opportunity. And if you, like I said, the student mode opportunity is the minute they offer you admission, they will be the one to uh, send your applications to the Czech Republic Embassy in your country for you to start or for them to give you a visa application date. So that is how the student mode opportunity operates. And these are the list of schools that operate the student mode opportunity. Okay, so um, you, I took my time to write them out so that you will be able to avail yourself an opportunity to get admission in this school. So you will not need to be bothering about the uh, visa appointment date and all of those things, especially for those that are going to Portugal and Austria and all of those things that they usually bother about. This is one of the beauty of going to Czech Republic. The student most of opportunity, once you get admission from them, they are the one that will offer or schedule you for visa appointment dates. Okay. Now, so I, I want to quickly talk about three schools among this list of 24 that I have listed here, I want to talk about only three of them. As, I mean, and I'm going to start with the one that's, that, you know, that offer you um, tuition as low as 20 euro. It's really amazing. This is the name of the university, um, uh, University of South Bohemia in Czech. Um, I mean, I'm sorry, I will not be able to pronounce this name like you want me to pronounce it, but at least you can see it on my screen. Faculty of Science. Yes, Faculty of Science. So 
Yes, they have other faculty anyway. They have other faculty, but mostly all their all the courses that they teach here or the courses that you can pay as low as 20 euro tuition fee for is mostly prevalent in the faculty of science. So you can of course do your other due diligence on some of the other of other courses that they teach or other faculties that they teach. And I imagine that if this faculty is uh, charging as low as 20 euro tuition fee, other faculty fee will not be that expensive, but you can always verify. Now, these are the list of courses that they teach there. And the beauty of it again is that all the courses taught in here are taught in English. Yes, you see, applied physics, Doctoral, uh, doctoral program, full-time, four years English, you see? see them? Uh, artificial intelligence and data science, postgraduate master, full-time, two years English, um, biochemistry, doctoral combined, four years English, biochemistry uh, for doctoral student, full-time, four years English, everything, botany, uh, biophysics, ecology, uh, um, um, uh, entomology, Integrative biology, limnology, parasitology, all of them are taught in English, both for, I mean, they, 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 they show to you the mode, if it is doctoral program you want to apply for, if it is for master, if it's for bachelor program, and all of them is the same. Let's quickly check something. Let me open this one for you to see what I'm talking about with respect to the tuition fee. With respect to the tuition fee. Now, uh, this is it here. Let's open applied physics. This is applied physics. Now, the faculty of science type of do study, doctoral, length of study, four years, language of instruction, English, form of study, full time, tuition fee, 500 Czech uh, Republic per year. Oh my God, per year. Now, let's check 500 Czech Republic per year. Let's, let's go on Google and search how much is 500 Czech Republic per year, you see? This is that's why I, I just I just rounded it off to say 20 euro tuition fee a year. Oh my god. And don't forget that I mean if you are a self-sponsored um, uh, doctoral student in Czech Republic, uh, especially if you are if you don't have any financial support, you can always work and study. That is one of the beauty of studying in Czech Republic again. For both masters and PhD students can work and study. Uh, I mean, they can combine work and study with their program. And there are a lot of English jobs in Czech Republic, and there are many jobs in Czech Republic as well. So this is the equivalent value of 500 Czech Corona. It's, I mean, 19.73 euros. So I just rounded it up to be say, oh, 20 euro tuition fee. Are you with me? So that is that about the these schools. And, you know, now, if you now want to apply for this course, you go through these applications, you click on the e-application. So majority of the schools, I mean, some of the schools, about three of them that we're talking about operate, only one of them operates the manual uh, application submission. The other ones operate uh, um, 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 e-applications. Now, this is how the e-application work. Let's reopen it. So when you submit, you, you submit your email, I mean, you put your email here, and then they will they will send you I mean, an email immediately to confirm or uh, verify your email. Then they will be able to send you further instructions. It is from that email, it is from that email verification that you'll be able to continue on your application, submitting all other documentations and every other thing that they need. But this is how it works. Okay. So of course, you, I expect that you will be also do um, some other you know, investigation, some due diligence, research their websites to be able to get uh, uh, further um, um, information depending on the course or the faculty that you want to apply for in this school. This is the name of the school once again. Now, let's look at another school, okay? Let's look at another, and this is the school that I talked about that uh, uh, they require that you submit your uh, document, um, I mean, via email. So these are the list of the courses um, that I mean, they have different faculties. So it depends on, you know, your own faculty, faculty of IT and management, faculty of education, faculty of natural science. Okay. So if it is bachelor, you want to ask, apply for a master degree, doctoral, you know, depending on what you want to apply for. And you can also filter based on the language. So let's quickly, let's say, for instance, let's say 
um, uh, let's filter based on English as mode of instruction, okay? So you will see all the courses that are taught in English. I mean, depending on the, uh, regardless of the faculty, and you can also, so instance, these are the list of courses that are taught in English for uh, doctoral, masters, uh, masters, bachelor. So let's go to the second page, okay? And then you have political science, toxicologist, okay? And applied informatics, economics, and management is for masters. For masters uh, program is also taught in English. Okay, uh, information management is taught in English. Political science, philosophy is taught in English. So I mean, I've had people chat me up that they want to apply for psychology, for philosophy, and all of those things. So all of these universities are offer admissions for all uh, for both for both doctoral candidate and bachelor and master's. Now let's see how their application procedure works, okay? You can filter, if this is the name of the university, I mean, Universitar Adbeck, I will not be able to pronounce this name, I'm so sorry, okay? This is the name of the university. Now let's quickly check their application procedure for admission, okay? Um, but uh, bachelor is three years, master is two years, and uh, PhD is four years. Study programs in the field of informatics, information management, economies, and management, and apply. Now, let's quickly check the admission procedure. Now, the, the application period has already started from uh, December 1st, and it's going to last till March 31st, So, which means you have until March 31st to get all your documents ready and send to this school. Now, the first step of the applic e application is this, okay? The, you say is submit the online application that is available here, okay? The application fee is 30 euro payable online via bank transfer. Include the name in the message for the recipient, you know. So, and this is the bank transfer. So once you submit your online applications and then uh, everything, you send <clears throat> you send the bank transfer of 30 euro to this place and you can, you know, uh, email them to let them know that uh, you have uh, paid the application fee. Now, the second step is this. Now, along with the online application, so which means in this school, you submit your online application here, okay? They also accept, you submit your, the, although it also depends on the course, especially for a master's program and PhD, it depends on the course that you're applying for. So when you submit your online application here, the same documents that you, are, that you submit online, you also send it manually, which is the second step. Second step, along with online application, applicants must email the following documents to this email. So a uh, copy of your international passport, a legalized copy of your secondary school living certificate or bachelor diploma. So if applying for a master degree program, that's if you're applying for a master degree program. For, but for PhD, all they require that you submit is your most recent um, um, uh, certification, so which will now be your master's if you're going for PhD, okay? Now, a legalized copy of the academic transcript for each of the study including the number of units. So you submit a legalized, a super legalized uh, document of your transcript and your certificate. You send it to this. Place. Now, additionally, all the information document must be legalized either by the apostle for more information check or by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the country where you study. So, and then super legalized by the relevant Czech Republic. And I've told you about how super legalization of documents work at the Czech Republic in Abuja, right? So. Wow, this is quite interesting. Now, also, you send your CV, you send your motivation video stating why you are applying for these um, applications, upload it to YouTube and include the link in your CV. Okay, and I, I, I will show you, you know, some of the tips regarding that. The video should be within two to three minutes. For instance, if you are applying for management, so you should you do a video showing your motivation. Why do you want to apply for management? Especially if you are, if you studied um, 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 engineering as your first degree and you want to apply for management for second degree, you have to do a motivation to say, oh, what is motivating you to, speaking you to want to change um, uh, from, um, what is it called, to from um, engineering to management, okay? So you, are, you must be able to, so it, it's more or less equivalent to uh, the motivation letter that we usually, uh, a written motivation letter that we usually submit. So this is what they require that you do. So you do a motivation or, or a video within two to three minutes and submit it, upload it to your YouTube link, add the link to your uh, uh, to your CV so that they can easily go 
go through it without having to read your motivation letter. You know, some of them don't have time for all of those kind of things. Now, English proficiency certificate, so or other proof of studying in English. So if you want to study in English, you must be able to show proof. And I've said with your English proficiency certificate. So if you want to go for um um uh, what is it called master's or PhD, just get a English proficiency certificate from your school, and that will be more than enough to um get you a waiver for uh English uh, uh submission. Then uh no strict recognition of your previous education. So I've talked about I've talked about all this now. The third step, eligible applicant, those meeting step one and step two that I talked about earlier will be required to write an essay on given topics announced via email in early April. So uh, submission within one week via email up to 2,000 words in length must be in MS Word. Plagiarism should be avoided because they will, of course they will do turn it in to make sure that you're not plagiarizing. And plagiarize, plagiarism is a crime in Europe, okay? If you don't know, especially for those applying for master's and PhD, you cannot plagiarize any content. You must be able to ensure an uh, adequate paraphrasing of every information that you're going to be submitting online, especially to any EU country, okay? Now, admission decision will be announced by April 30. Admitted students must confirm their interest in studying by May 15. After this date, confirmation of admission to study or visa documents will be issued and the minute it is issued to you, they, they, they will immediately send that, um, that, that same document to the Czech Republic Embassy in your country for them to schedule a visa application date with you. Now, how to create your video, this is some of the information that you have to follow. This video should include the following by introduction with personal details, description of your previous education and achievement, reason for applying to the university, expectation from studying at the university, future plans and goals for wanting to study on that particular course. So you record it with your either phone, computer or camera and you know, and then recommended length is within two to three minutes, upload the video to YouTube and include the link in your CV. The video must remain accessible for at least 30 days after the deadline. So once you upload it to your YouTube, don't delete it, let it be there for at least 30 days so that it can easily assess it as part of the required document to give you admission to study. And this school also, the minute, especially for master's and PhD, the minute you submit your uh, um, um, applications or you are offered admission, you are automatically considered for accommodation support. And from what I gather from students that are there, the accommodation support that will be issued to you, which is equivalent to about 3,000, um, 3,000, uh, Czech Republic currency is more than enough for you to pay uh, your uh, instrumental fees and your living expenses in Czech Republic. So you are automatically considered. So once they offer you this admission, it's really for PhD and master's program. Once they offer you this uh, uh, accommodation support, you are good to go. I mean, it's a very, very huge opportunity. So that is the second school that we'll be talking about that operates a student mode opportunity in Czech Republic. And the third one, is Charles Universities. Charles University. I mean, this is very simple. So I'm, I'm, I'm able to pronounce this one. <laughs> okay, so they have different uh, faculty, you know, as you can see them on my screen, fa um, Catholic Faculty of Theology, Faculty of um, Evangelical Faculty of Theology, Faculty of Medicine, Law, you know, you know, they have a bunch of them. You can see them here. So it depends on what you want to do. Now let's quickly, Let's quickly do what is called filtering, especially in this Charles University, okay? To be able to see, um, to be able to see some of the courses that are taught in Charles Universities. Now, let's assume you want to. I mean, if you know the faculty that you want to go for, very easy for you. You can easily go. But because I'm, you know, doing a video, I will not choose any particular faculty. I just want to check the list of courses that are taught in English and the corresponding tuition fee. So uh, you you uh, you can form of study you know you you easily go for full time okay you go for full time and then you know let's say for instance let's say you want to apply to masters okay for instance they have bachelor program for uh, because I've already you know done this I, I've put there that the language of instruction should be English okay so that is why you are seeing that. Uh, it's showing to me here that bachelor, they have 19 bachelor program taught in English. They have 248 doctoral program taught in English. Master's program, nine of them are taught in English. And follow-up master, 63 of them are taught in English. So a filter based so if you but if you know your faculty, you know the study program that you want to apply for, the, the course 
that you want to apply for, you can easily take them here. But now the beauty of it is this. The minute I run the search for the, uh, let's say, for instance, I choose follow-up master's program, it shows to me the 63 um, courses that are taught in English. Okay, so you can easily go through them and then um, uh, check the details of the courses and the corresponding tuition fee. Like I said, depending on the faculty that you're applying for, the tuition fee is not always the same thing. So let's assume for a bachelor program, this bachelor program that I taught in English and for three years, uh, these are the you know application, um, the application fee that you pay, the application procedure, and then this is the tuition fee that you can pay up to about 10 installments depending on the uh, requirement or the bargain that you entered with the finance department of the school. This is the tuition fee, 7,000 euro a year, okay? So, and you can, you know, instrument, you can mail the school and tell them that you will be paying this tuition fee or so, 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 and so every, every two, two months or every, every quarter or every month or, you know, depending on what works for you, that's what we determine the agreement that you will enter with the school and this is this and this is one of the school because I, I, I yes this is one of the school that when you when you when you begin with them that you want to be entering i mean you want to be you want to be paying the application fee uh instrumentally depending on what works for you they will easily oblige you okay they will easily oblige you so that is for charles university in in um in um in czech republic and let's say for instance you choose uh, computer science software for um, a master's program for two years okay uh this is the application fee that you pay and this is the tuition fee in a year six thousand eight hundred euro okay so you can also pay this one as well instrumentally this is for um yeah this is this is for international applicants yes this is for International applicant, the tuition fee. This is this one is showing that the tuition fee for EU, EU, EEP, and all. I mean, you know, uh, some. I mean, those who are not Africans or international applicant uh, pay four thousand euro. But that is for master's program in in computer science software system at Charles University, it's taught in English two years. You know, and then it's full it's full time, and this is the. Uh, application amount, application fee that you need to pay. And of course, the same application, you submit your application online. You submit your application online via e-application, okay? So that is for Charles Universities. And Charles University is also among the list of universities that operate the student mode, okay? So like I've shown to you, these are the list of the universities that operate the student mode in Czech Republic. And I mean, I'm telling you, this is Charles Universities that I just finished talking about. So I'm telling you, this is a very huge opportunity for international applicants. Having these um, numbers of English taught courses in Czech Republic, okay? So the, the, the sky is the starting point, and I'm sure you will, if you if you follow diligently the instructions and the guide that I've provided on this uh, video, you will be you will be able to latch into it, okay? So let me quickly mention this. If you are just seeing this channel for the first time, like and subscribe to our channel so that by the time we drop uh, information and opportunity like this, you will be the first person to get notification. Now, let me quickly mention this again, that if you want to legalize your document for the super legalization at their embassy, you can always do it on Prozi. I mean, especially for Nigerians, you can always do it on Prozi. So just send a letter, to anybody and ensure the person goes to the embassy with their uh, recognized ID cards, you know, which correspond with the names of the person that you have written on the letter. So you can always do a super, like, super legalization in Prozi. You don't have to go to the embassy. I mean, because of the uh, logistics involved, you don't have to go to the embassy yourself, okay? So that is that. And like I said, the proof of funds, especially for the, depending on the number, the amount of the school fees that you are uh, expected to pay with, uh, the first school that I showed to you that I expect you to pay 20 euro tuition fee. Uh, if you if you get an offer in that school with about 2 million um, uh, proof of funds, you are good to go in this school, okay? So, uh, so and of course, depending on the um, tuition fee with 
to, uh, two to five million or 10 million, especially for uh, tuition fee that uh, is expecting you to pay about 6,500 for computer scientists who want to go there to study masters in computer sciences, computer scientists with about uh, seven to 10 million um, um, proof of funds in your applications or in your in your bank account, you're good to go. And I've already, told, I've already talked about how your proof of funds should be arranged within two to three months, you must manage the account and you should be at least able to submit at the account statements of, of about six months, just for them to be able to see that it's an account that is, you know, is constantly used. So it's not a dummy account that uh, you just uh, brought for visa application. So if you have any questions, any concern, you know, like and subscribe to our channel so that by, by the time we drop opportunities like this, you will be the first person to get notification. Also follow us on all our social media platform. If you want a one-on-one -on -one consultations, I mean, you can, you can follow the link for a paid consultation whereby we'll be able to help you review your document, we'll be able to help you, guide you via the choosing route of visa application procedure. I'm sure by September or October of this year for their fall academic calendar, you will be in Czech Republic. And like, and like I said, Czech Republic is an EU country, so which means you can move around to all other EU country as you wish, okay? So don't forget to like and subscribe and share also to other, uh, other people in your group so that it will really help them a lot. Thank you very much once again for liking or subscribing to our channel. Uh, we really, really appreciate you watching to this end, okay? Bye-bye for now.